All right, this is Mr. Barr, and I'm going to give you a little tutorial here on how to do um, Tiki Talkie, which is going to be the first piece of technology that we're going to use. This is for your Civil War timeline project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to go to just a basic Google Chrome page, and I'm going to type in TikiTalkie.com. You can also find this linked on Schoology. Um, you're going to have to choose the free sign up button. Okay, so when you do that, you'll have a username, a password, use your school email, put your age in. There is no class code. Check the box to agree to the terms and conditions. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Okay, so when you get there, you're going to see this. All right, you should have no timelines created. We're going to create a timeline. We're going to call it um, Civil War Events. It doesn't really matter what you call it. You can put an image in later. Okay, we're going to start this. We're going to change the start date here. So if you just click, all I do is click in the box, okay, on the little calendar to the right. And what we're going to do is we're going to go um, I'll take the back. We're going to go 1-1-1861 to 4-4-18 to 4 9 1865 okay so that takes us to January 1st 1861 to the 4th of September 1865 okay leave these the same for now it doesn't really matter just to create new timeline we can mess with the format later okay so now my timeline is created there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of here first off on the right here is your admin panel okay this is where you create all your stuff for your timeline Okay, first thing I always like to do is I want to shut that health bar off. It's there if you need it, but I want it out of my way. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You have to have 10 events on this timeline. The events are known as stories. It's the same thing. It just means something different. Okay, so create, you're going to go to create new story. And maybe the first important event that I decide, and again, you're deciding which events to include in here, are the formation of the Confederate States of America. Okay, so maybe that's what I want to call it. Let's say it happened January 1st, 1861. It didn't. Um, that, so you would leave, you would change the date if you needed to change the date. Okay, if it's just one day, if it's one single event, leave it the same. If it's a battle that lasted multiple days, like the Battle of Gettysburg, then you would just adjust the, the end date. Okay, and it would last and it would spread it out over that. Um, your intro can be pretty simple it can go it can just say this on this date the southern say the 11 southern states seceded and formed a new independent nation called the confederate states of america all right then you just hit save Okay, so then it shows up right there. If you want to add a picture, okay, because you're going to need 10 events and you're going to need a minimum of eight visuals. So you're going to need a video, a picture, something like that, a map, um, something like that to put in there. You go to media, right, so right here, here's your basic info. You go to media, and you're going to hit add new media. Now, this is where it gets a little clunky. If I want to go get a picture, let's say, for example, that I want to paint a, that I want to put a picture of the Confederate States of America on there. Okay, so I go, go back to Google. I just search Confederate States of America. I go to images. Let's say I like this picture. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to right click and you have to save image address. Okay, or copy image address. That's what you want. Copy image address. Okay, I come back here and under source, I'm just going to put I'm just going to paste that address in there and hit the magnifying glass, and there it is. Okay, so now I can close this panel, and now if I click on that, it will, it should put the picture in there. Okay, if I hit save, it'll put the picture on there. All right, so media, add new media, copy image address. If it's a video, then you simply just change this to a video. And you would paste the link in there the same way that we put the video in there. All right. When you're finished, okay. So you have all your stuff on here. You have all of you have all of your uh, events on here. Okay. All you need to do is go up here to this link. You need to hit Control. 
you need to copy that link and you're going to submit that to me on on schoology if you have any questions make sure you see mr barr otherwise happy timeline building